Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to install Optifine with Forge. Yeah, you heard me right. It is finally time that Optifine and Forge work together, allowing you to install them together and thus allowing you to install other mods with Optifine. Something we've not been able to do in Minecraft 1.14. We've not been able to do this since Minecraft 1.12.2 actually. But now it can be done in Minecraft 1.14, and we're going to be doing it today in this video. First and foremost, though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible 24-hour DNOS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we use our own server, play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So, again, if you were looking for a great Minecraft server, Apex makes it super easy to go and set up, to start playing with your friends, and just to overall have a ton of fun on a Minecraft server that is 100% controlled by you. So, again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible Minecraft server. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on into this. Now, obviously, we're installing Optifine with Forge, so we need to download Forge, and the first thing we need to do is come here, which is our tutorial on how to download and install Forge in Minecraft 1.14.4. I'm going to be going over it in this video, but if you do have any issues, if you slow down or anything, um, you'll be basically coming in here and, and be able to find help. So, yeah. But nevertheless, once you're here, go ahead and click on this green Download Forge button, and then once you're here, you'll be able to see that this is for MC 1.14.4. If it's not for MC 1.14.4, just click on 1.14 over here in the left hand sidebar and then click on 1.14.4 there. Once you're here, go ahead and click on the installer button under download recommended. So download recommended, click on the installer button, and then it will go ahead and download in the bottom left the basically forge file we want. Now as long as it starts with forge and ends with .jar, which ours does, we can go ahead and click keep. Now, if yours on Mozilla Firefox, it popped up in the center of your screen where you want to click save. Once it's popped up, once you've done that, we're done downloading Forge, but we're not done downloading yet because we're installing Optifine after all, aren't we? So we want to install Optifine. You can find this link in the description down below. This is our tutorial on installing Optifine, but really and truly you're just going to be using it mostly for the download Optifine link because we're installing it a bit different than you normally would. Now once you're here, it is very, very important to look at dates. And I know this is kind of a weird thing for a tutorial, but what you want to do is click on preview versions. And then up here, you'll see this Optifine 1.14.4 pre-7, right? Click on the mirror download there and it will go ahead and download. It takes to here where we can click the purple or the uh, download link here. Now we'll download Optifine at the bottom left where we can go ahead and click keep. And then, you know, it'll save the file. And as long as it has Optifine somewhere in the file name and it's in a .jar, you're safe to keep it. On Mozilla Firefox, you'll save it in the center of your screen. But I want to go back to that Optifine download page real quick. Now, as you can see, this was released on August 6th, 2019. So the 6th of August, 2019. Whereas this preview version was released on the 2nd of October 2019, right? See that? So literally the day I'm recording this, this was released so you all can actually now use Optifine with Forge. You have to get the one that is the newer one though. So if like, for example, Forge or Optifine has officially been updated and it works with Forge now, which the next release will work with Forge. And it like, for example, is like October 15th, the 15th of October 2019 is listed down here. That's the one you want to download. Otherwise, Optifine F4 Pre-7 will work up here so you can come up here and download it just like we did. Again, clicking the mirror and then clicking that download Optifine button there. Nevertheless, once you've got Optifine downloaded and everything, we can go ahead and come back to our desktop. Now, these are on my desktop. We have Forge and we have Optifine. If these on or near desktop, no worries. They're in your downloads folder. Click the little Windows icon. For me, it's in the top left. For you, it may be in the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon in the bottom left. Click on that and then go ahead and type in Downloads, right like so. You'll have this Downloads folder here. Click on that and then you'll find Forge and Optifine in here. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Once those are on your desktop, it's time to go ahead and get them installed. Now, the first thing we want to do is actually start off with Forge here. So just right click on Forge, click on Open With, and then you should have Java TM Platform SE Binary. But Nick, what if I don't have Java TM Platform SE Binary? Well, no worries. We need to go and download it. So you can download Java for Minecraft here, and specifically Java for Minecraft servers, Minecraft mods, and more. So whether you're starting a server or installing Minecraft mods, you need the exact same version of Java. And this tutorial, make sure you get that version. It goes through every single step of downloading it and all that stuff. Then we do have the jar fix here. If, say you download and install Java and you still can't get your Forge file to open up, you need to run the jar fix. It has helped over 300,000 people fix their jar files with the computer and basically make .jar files work with Forge or jar again, Java again. .jar files work with Java again. That was a, sorry about that misspeaking there, but you basically get the point. If you install Java, it's still not working, install the jar fix and then you'll be good to go. 
Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, right click on Forge, click on Open With, and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary and click OK. That will then open up the handy Forge installer here, where you want to click on Install Client and then just click OK. It will then go through, download and install Forge and everything will be great and it should succeed. If it doesn't succeed, that means you just need to go play Minecraft 1.14.4, but no mods installed or anything like that. Just run vanilla Minecraft 1.14.4, come back and it will work. But as you can see, it's worked for us. Successfully installed Client Profile Forge. Go ahead and click OK and now we need to install Optifine. To do this, click the little Windows icon. Again, that's in the top left for me, but it's in the bottom left of your screen right there. Click on that little Windows icon in the bottom left, and then go ahead and type in run, R-U-N. You'll have this run application here, run app. Click on that, and it'll open up this. In this text box here, you want to type percent sign, A-P-P, D-A-D-A, percent sign, percent, at that a percent, and hit OK. It will then open up our roaming folder here where you'll have a .minecraft folder. In your .minecraft folder, you should have a mods folder. But Nick, what if I don't have a mods folder? No worries, no worries, it's okay. Just right click, right over here, like in this white space, right click, create a new folder, and title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Then go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder. Drag the Optifine we downloaded. If it starts with Preview, that means you've downloaded like the beta version that's out right now. Or if it starts with you know the basically latest version, just Optifine, and uh, you know it's came out after this, and like the date thing that we talked about was later in its official version, it'll just say Optifine. But never drag that into your mods folder. Now we need to go ahead and open up Minecraft, just the normal Minecraft launcher here. And once it's open, click on the Installations tab up here at the top. Now you should have a Forge Installations tab. If you do, just go ahead and click Play. But what if you don't have a Forge Installations tab? Well, no worries. Just go ahead and click on the plus new here. And then go ahead and name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I doing that? Because that is our Minecraft server, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We have Greed Protected Survival. Our Medieval Survival server has 25 custom quests and an incredible player-based economy. Our Aquatic Survival server has an incredible slash shop-based economy with tons and tons of active players over there. And then we do have a custom Skyblock server with hundreds of players nearly every single day. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Latest version here. Let's go ahead and click on that where it says latest version. It'll open up this version's drop down box where you want to find Forge. In my case, I'm going to go with this version. Basically, you can look back at like your original Forge file and see what version it is 1.14.4, 28.1.0. So we're going to do 1.14.4, 28.1.0. Click on that. I'm going to change my resolution just so you all will be able to see. And then go ahead and click create. Now we have this play.breakdowncraft.com profile we created and click on play. It will now open up Minecraft 1.14.4 with Forge installed. It's that simple, that quick, and that easy to get it up and running and installed without any problems whatsoever. Um, literally, Optifine is the easiest one to install with Forge. It's, it's kind of easier to install Optifine with Forge than it is just Optifine itself. So. Yeah. Anyway, as you can see, it is setting up. It's initializing Forge, you know, modly, you know, mod load complete and everything like that. Now we go ahead and click on the Mods tab. We won't see Optifine in here, which is kind of weird. But if you go over to Video Settings, you will see all of the Optifine settings, right? So it doesn't show Optifine here. But if we come over into Options, Mods, and then go to Video Settings, as you can see, we can turn on shaders. We can do all of that stuff. Basically, turn on internal shaders, which what internal shaders basically do is they do change some stuff, like you can change this thing, this stuff over here, but overall, it's just to test if shaders is working. We can also come in here and do things like do the super render distance of Optifine. We can change like, you know, our other settings, turn off all particles, turn on all particles, do specific particle testing. We can even come in here and, you know, change quality and do on like better grass and all sorts of stuff. All that can be done now with Optifine. It even says here in the bottom left that Optifine HD Pre-7 is installed. Now again, it's not going to show up in the Mods tab, but that's okay. However, if you want to install more mods with Optifine, just drag and drop them into the Mods folder here. For example, if you wanted to install, install something like World Edit, you can just drag and drop it right here in the Mods folder, and then you'd be good to go, and then it would show up over here, but Optifine won't. Again, Optifine won't, but Forge will. Nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up, and enjoy Optifine now with Forge in Minecraft 1.14.4. I'm happy to see that that is finally a thing that they have added back in. It's been so long, and it is back. So thank you so so much for that to both the developers of Forge and Optifine for allowing that to happen. If you want to come play with us, come play on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play.breakdowncraft.com. We've got survival. We've got Skyblock. You absolutely love it, and Factions is coming soon. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Again, thank you so, so much for watching, and I am out. Peace.